Please subscribe mad.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. In our last lecture, we have learned about the additive identity of the matrices. Hope so you, the concept will be clear and in today's lecture, we are ready to understand the concept of additive inverse of the matrix. And what is the what is additive inverse and what are the additive in, in, inverse of uh, inverse of the matrices? We will start from the definition of the additive inverse. For forget about the matrix for the time being and just concentrate on the definition of the additive inverse so that you can easily understand what it is actually. It is stated as the additive inverse of any given real number. We will start from the real numbers. We are not discussing the matrices right now. So additive inverse of any real number is the number which when added to that real number that is a here we have um, taken um, we have just considered a real number as a okay so is, uh, basically it is that number which when added to a it will result into zero so we are our concern is about that number which when added to this a it will give you the zero so that number will be the additive inverse how we will get that number we will see it later currently you just keep in mind the concept of additive inverse okay so this this is the definition let's take mathematically how you can represent the additive inverse of the real numbers let's say you have a real number that is a okay and you add a number in it in such a way that you get the result of zero okay it means that the number which makes it zero is the additive inverse here this is the additive inverse of a because by adding this number we have got the result of zero okay so this is the additive inverse in other words if we just take any real number like if you have the number two and you want to get the zero when uh, it is clear from here that you will only get zero when you add a number with the opposite sign in it then you will get the zero okay this is the case of real real numbers we are considering the, just the real numbers right now for your concept okay so we can say that minus 2 is the additive inverse of 2 because it is making the result as zero okay so this, this was all about the additive inverse of the real numbers. Same will be the case in case of the matrices. For, for the sake of matrices, let's say we have two matrices of the same order that is A and B. Keep in mind that their order must be same because we are, because we are going to perform the um, addition here. So for addition, the order of the two matrices that is the number of rows and columns columns of the two matrices must be same okay so in this case we have a matrix a okay this is a matrix this is not re a real number right now we are discussing about the matrices okay when we add a, these two matrices together b is another matrix we will get a zero matrix a matrix having all the elements of zero okay or so this is the concept of of the additive inverse of real number uh, uh, this is the concept of the additive inverse of the matrices so here the order doesn't matter whether you add a to b or you add b to a you will get the same result so that is the zero matrix so additive inverse of any matrix can be obtained by just inverting the sign of that matrix here we can also say that this is called the additive inverse of A because when we add it into the A, it results into the zero matrix. Okay. So keep in mind that what is the additive inverse. So you got the concept of additive inverse. Now let's find it out how you can find the additive inverse of the of any given matrix. Okay. It's very easy. For this purpose, what you have to do keep one statement in your mind whenever you are going to find the additive inverse you will always obtain it by changing the sign of the given number okay this is the rule 
keep this in mind okay you have a real number then you have to change the sign of that one real number and if you as we are talking about the matrices so you have to change the sign of the every element of the matrix as the matrix consists of multiple elements arranged in rows and columns and how it is denoted it is denoted as minus minus a a is the given matrix it could be b c d it depends on the name of the given matrix okay now let's find it out how you can do this let's say a b any matrix of which additive inverse you are going to find we have taken the matrix of of the order of 2 into 2 that is two rows and two columns now what we have to do to may to find its additive inverse we have to multiply this matrix by the scalar value of minus 1 it means you have to multiply this matrix with 1 with minus 1 okay so what you will do you will write it as minus keep this keep this uh, in your mind about the multiplication of scalar with the matrix how scalar multiplication happen it basically happen like we will multiply minus 1 with every element of a so we will write as minus 1 and the elements as 5 6 minus 2 and minus 3 okay what we will get we will multiply minus 1 with every element here so minus 1 multiplied by 5 Minus one multiplied by minus two, minus one multiplied by six, and minus one multiplied by minus three. Okay, so what you will get? You will get minus five, minus six, plus two as minus minus plus, and plus three. This is the matrix that is minus a. Now it is no more a. That it was the given matrix. Okay, so this matrix is the additive inverse. this is the additive inverse of this matrix okay if you want to check that is this right or not you have a procedure what is the procedure we will verify it. we will verify it as by using the verification method okay in which we, what we will do we will add these two matrices to, together a and minus a will be add together let's find it out verification we will do the that verification in order to confirm that is it right or not that the give that the matrix that we obtained after multiplying by minus 1 is the additive inverse of the given matrix we will add bo both of those um, matrices together as a plus minus a as this was the condition of the additive inverse that when you add them together you will get a zero matrix let's see uh, rather uh, whether we will get that or not the matrix was 5 6 -2 and -3 and the other was -5 -6 2 and 3 so by using the rules of addition what we, we what we will do we will add the corresponding elements okay what we will get 5 plus minus minus so 5 minus 5 Minus two plus two, six plus minus into plus and minus multiplied to it will it will give you minus six, minus three plus three, and the final answer is zero 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 zero. So what we have got? We have got a zero matrix, a matrix with all the elements equal to zero, and it hence it is proved that. Uh, the given this uh, matrix that we have found by uh, multiplying it with minus one is the additive inverse of this matrix. Okay, so it is proved. So this is how you can prove the uh, fact that the the uh, matrix that you ha you have got after multiplying it with, with minus one. is the additive inverse of the given num given matrix because when we add them together we have got a matrix with all the elements zero so that's all about how you can find the additive inverse of the matrices and how you can verify them and keep one thing is mind that minus a is the additive inverse of a here and a is also the additive inverse of minus a so these are the additive inverses of each other so that that's all about 
relative inverse from today's lecture stay tuned for more lectures thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you